have been selling some tech names. Clearly, in the month of August, there was a lot of momentum guiding technology higher, and that was in the wake of earnings. It was an exceptional uh, month, that being the month of August. You saw a significant outperformance, and all we're doing right now is we're seeing a moderation in what I am doing by selling out of some names. I sold out of Palo Alto Networks yesterday by taking off some of the increased exposure that I had in technology, rotating it elsewhere into industrial names, rotating it into other names like we talked about Northrop Grumman yesterday. So to, to your point, yeah, I do think it can continue a little bit longer, but I think when you reflect back upon this, ultimately you'll still see over a 60-day period that tech was positive. But there is room, given the outperformance, for this to correct deeper. All right, you guys, do we agree? I mean, does this tech sell-off carry have legs, or is this just a... A few days phenomenon, as we ask at the top. Well, if you look at what tech has done over the last few months, you have to say it's had a tremendous couple of months. Tech is up 20% roughly for the year. It's up 8 9% in the last month or so. So having a sell-off is not unusual. People come back from the summer. There's low trading volume. We're into September. And they say, whoa, since I was gone, Every stock in my portfolio and on the tech side is up another 10%. So it's reasonable. Yeah, we, reasonable. Well, I mean, we came in with, it's with some momentum. We well, came in with that sort of renewed momentum in tech. I, last, in the last week alone, now, now granted, some of this sell-off in some individual names, Pete, mm -hmm. um, is due to what we witnessed in D.C. yesterday. Facebook's down 8.5%. This is one-week performance, by the way. Intel's down one and a half. Amazon down two. Micron thirteen. Netflix six and a half. Twitter ten. Alphabet seven. Western Dig seven and a half. Microsoft three and a half. Seagate seven and a half. I could I could keep going. Yeah. But the, the point don't. is made just in those names. I mean, it's been <laughs> yeah, ugly. No, it's been ugly. I, I think if you look at a lot of those names, some of the some of the higher value names there, when you look at P.E. ratios, are some of the names that you're getting hit. I mean, you look at the Twitters of the world. Facebook, I don't put in that category, and that's why it's probably tempered down a little bit in terms of how much uh, it's dropped over the last couple of days. But this is front and center because of what we're seeing, especially this week, Scott. And we knew coming in we were going to have some of this social media in front of us this week. And I think a lot of people are using that as an excuse, at least right now, to get some of their positions down a little bit from where they were. Now, I think oftentimes when you see that kind of selling, I think that does create some great opportunities. Some of the names haven't gone down far enough. You mentioned some of these names, Intel not down nearly as much, but there are names out there I think that have gotten swept down along with some of the big names, the Facebooks and the Twitters, that I think could create some opportunities out there. Yeah.